Across the country, there are a shortage of math teachers who are trained in the Nemeth code, which is the math code for the Braille system, and do not understand how to teach math to visually impaired and blind students. Our mission at the school is providing quality services to blind and visually impaired children. If we're gonna reach out to kids throughout the state and really throughout the country, we need to tap into a digital environment. Uh, with one-tenth of one percent of the student population being blind or visually impaired, I mean, one student is in this location and one in another, very, very difficult to, uh, to get to the kids. So having kids be able to come into my class via distance learning, these kids get an education at the pace that they need with the tools they need. With a teacher who understands what their needs are. Graphing exponential functions. We've used more than one system for uh, distance learning for these math classes. We did a straight video conferencing using television and a camera, and the camera stopped working. Someone I know who works at Microsoft suggested we try Microsoft Link. So there's a lot more um, features that you can use above and beyond just video conferencing. So um, we decided to try it out and see how it would go. And we really needed to find something right away because the camera wasn't working and, and class was still happening. So it was an instant switch. Well, Microsoft Link has many different components to it. And the ones that we use are the video conferencing, so I can uh, connect down to the school to see students. Instant messaging, so students can send me messages and I can send them messages. We use the desktop sharing, so I can look at the students' desktops, what they're doing on their computers. We also use the file sharing, so they can send me their work uh, just via link. And by being through the computer, the students have access and they can log in themselves, which is a good advocacy. They can manipulate the program themselves because Microsoft Link has all keyboard commands, which allows them to go through the keyboard commands and to manipulate and go into different parts of the program. It is accessible and usable with JAWS, a screen reading program. Raise to the radical five, close. What makes this better is not just teleconferencing. It's a whole entire system. Back in my old public schools, like, they had like those huge whiteboards. It's like, you sent me to read what you write on there. But with that small single like whiteboard on the screen, you know, I can actually see and then take my notes and still follow along without getting lost. And that's for a, a low vision student who's using print. If a braille student wants to show me what they're doing, I wanna see what they're looking at. I can desktop share with them. That is helpful because she's able to take a look, tell me if or, you know, when I, make a mistake. What they're entering in, I can see right on my screen. So I can say, oh, you have a little bit of an error. You forgot a minus sign. With this, she can look uh, right there. It is at this part, this place. We need to take a look here. That's where your numbers are wrong. So it's almost like being able to walk around the classroom and see their work. If I have a question or if anyone in class has a question, they don't have to disrupt the class, they can send us a little message. It's basically like raising their hands so they can send me a message without the rest of the class having to hear. Plus, they can talk to me just like I'm in the classroom. We have a lot of fun. And I always like to say, my class is the noisiest class on campus. And since I am not there, we talk a lot. We have lots of discussion. We go over problems together out loud. So there's a lot of interpersonal communications that happen by using Microsoft Link. The nice thing about it is it's well, off-the-shelf software. So it's not something specifically designed for the blind. So if you can take off-the-shelf software, it means you can tie that into any person's laptop, computer, or note-taker device. Without a lot of sophisticated equipment, your regular classroom equipment, which most school districts are gonna have, it gives the flexibility with all of this, whereas other systems did not do that. All right, nice job, Chris, that's just right. By having this distance and outreach, we can give these kids the free and appropriate education that they deserve. It helps make the world a much smaller place and lets us connect with a lot more people.